Now, this individual said that he was unjustified in getting fired. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. But I'm going to go ahead and say that I don't believe that this man was unjustified in his firing. In fact, I'm absolutely disgusted at his behavior. If you have not seen this video floating around, where have you been? Patrick Starr in your life? That means you're living under a rock. Oh, sorry, that might have went over your head. That's a dog. A dog asshole. You feel me? This is Cobb Organization. Off to a riveting start. So he starts off immediately insulted the woman by calling her a dog ass hoe. Something I've never heard in my life. Um, but she is that apparently. But if you're getting fired and you feel like it's unjustified, I don't think that's how you would start the sentence. But let's continue. And they want to fucking fire me for some unjust shit because this racist ass bitch want to play with me. Yeah, don't say shit. You know not to say shit. Fuck out of here. See, I always love how... Let me... <laughs> Let me just get my few points in before we get really into this. I love it when people say, uh, especially when I hear black people say, <laughs> this racist ass bitch. And yeah, shut the fuck up, bitch. Now, who sounds like the ruder one here? It's so funny that when some black people feel like when they get fired, they feel like they can go straight to, oh, it's racist. Or they want to pull out that card for no reason. And they're the one who are being attacking the one. There's the one using the words. Instead of using, instead of thinking, man, is my actions what got me fired? No, it's because I'm, she's racist. And so I'm going to call her a bitch and tell her to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I just don't understand that logic. It's always funny to me. It actually gives me a good laugh at night. This is what I listen to before I go to bed, just to put smiles on my face. These bitches want to fire me. Then you got this nigga. He the property. He the fucking project manager and shit. He supposed to be staying on business, but he's sucking her fucking pussy. So now he not trying to stand on business and let a nigga keep his fucking job. Something's fucking what? She be bending you over? She, sp she stick the strap in? Huh? She be fucking you in your ass? Huh? Shut up. Nobody want to hear shit from you. Fuck y'all. Give me my paperwork. Give me my paperwork. Give me my paperwork. Shut the fuck up, Melissa, you mouse ass hoe. Shut up. Okay. Look at you. You look so fucking crazy. So that was the part right, right there. Hey, sir, 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 sir. When I talk, see, you're not going to overtalk me. Uh, see, when I see the face that I just saw, I want to break down this face right quick. This face I just saw, this right here. When I see this right, that when he's saying shut up. Remark, you dumb bitch. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. I sh that face right there reminds me of all the time that I've had people talk to me this way. It's it's a, it's a face of I run this now. It's like these kind of people they need help because they really think that what they're doing is completely justified. He even went on to turn on Instagram Live, as y'all can see, playing in his phone to show people that I am running this. You know how some of this may have started? Now, I'm not blaming this individual, but y'all remember the young lady who was starting, who when she got fired, she set up a whole camera to say, um, oh, I can't believe I'm getting fired and this is unjust and I can't believe you guys are firing me and not giving me a reason. I think people started doing this because of her, but they're trying to do the whole, I'm trying to beat capitalism and I'm trying to do all this. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> that's getting on my nerve. I'm trying to be capitalism. I'm trying to show you guys that working a 9 to 5 sucks and all that. Hey, trust me. I'm a brother who gets working 9 to 5. Ain't the funnest thing on earth. But I don't understand when people stop using, stop seeing people as human. And just because they're your boss, you immediately assume that they're trying to get over on you. Or they hate you. Or their lives don't fucking suck like your life sucks. And so, you go out of your way to bully the hell out of them and make them feel terrible. And because these happen to be three white people, he can say whatever the fuck he wants and just go out of his mind. I just find it revulsing, repulsing, whatever the word is. I should have been. I should have been. I knew it. The moment you found out Shorty wrote here, you started acting different. Let's back it up. Been filed sexual harassment on that ass. When you said, look at you, you look fucking crazy. You mad because I ain't give you no dick. I know what the real problem is, bitch. And I should have been filed sexual harassment on that ass. When you said the first couple of remarks, you dumb bitch. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah. I should have been. I should have been. I knew it. The moment you found out Shorty wrote here, you started acting different. I'm glad. I hope the fuck she is. I hope the fuck she is. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck all y'all. Give me my motherfucking paperwork. Give me my motherfucking paperwork. Y'all look fucking crazy. Look, I look like the fucking... Who really looks crazy, sir? Of course they look goofy because they're not doing anything, but however, who looks goofy? See, if I was in this thing, I would just be staring at you too, because one thing I'm just trying to do is make sure you don't go ripping up the damn place. 
Because that's when the police are getting called, sir. In fact, I would have already called the police and I'd have been waiting for them. Because this is this is one reason why people fire over the phone. This is why sometimes if you've ever been fired, um, they'll call you up and be like, hey, how you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Just getting ready for work. Yeah, about that, son. Um, we're going to have to let you go. Um, don't worry about coming in. Um, we'll have all your stuff sitting up front. You could come in. Uh, tomorrow and come get all your stuff and we'll have it up there for you but um, do we just feel like that you have not been um, hitting the metrics that we need you to hit and we just the company has decided that we're going to move forward now you can reapply in 90 days if you would like to come back but as of right now we're just going to move forward actually guys when you normally get fired from a job you normally have to wait a year to reapply but you know how it is back to it the slave master now don't i i look like the slave master now don't i fuck y'all Got the fucking audacity to have farms and shit and try to play with a young nigga by this paper. Fuck y'all. 100%. 100%. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Where's my paperwork? Where's my paperwork? Where's my paperwork? Y'all stand here well, watching me. I'm about to get sturdy for the ass. I'm about to get sturdy for the ass. Because <clears throat> y'all want to watch me. See, this is what they call showing your ass. It's the same thing you would see a uh, individual do when a girls uh, when they twerk. Okay, every race has their different stuff. Black girls may twerk. Black men may get sturdy. White men may start uh, um, threatening lawyers, and white women may just start yelling. Okay, we all have our stuff. As far as Hispanics, I don't know. I haven't seen them get mad too often, so don't know. Absolute riveting. That's what y'all like. That's what y'all like. I, I, <laughs> one thing that I love about this whole thing is there is no sound. There is no sound effects. This is what it looks like in real life, guys, when you do this stupid shit. When you think you're looking cool, this is what it sounds like. That's what y'all like. That's what y'all like. Yo. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut up. Doesn't that sound like a person who's aggressive and is already about to throw their entire life away? This man just said, why are you like this? He immediately went to aggression. Bitch. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut up. Don Dada. Don Dada. Don Dada the farm 43. Why the fuck they don't fire the Don Dada? These dumb ass bitches, you got ties, you got Melissa's you know, bitch ass in this motherfucker trying to play with Don. You recording me, bitch? Fuck you. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck. You was unjust. You was unjust. This is what the fuck y'all want to Did you hear the words that that young man said at the very end? He said, fuck you, bitch. This is unjust. Now, listen. I'm a man that if I felt like a job did me wrong, I'm not going to cause a ruckus. My reputation does matter. It does matter. Um, before I continue, I want to speak on that just for just a hot second. Just give me a few seconds. Matter of fact, give me a few minutes. Matter of fact, I'll shut up when I feel like it. Listen. When people go on to say stuff as such as, it was unjust, what you did to me was wrong. I'm not a man who's against just, you know, saying, you know what? I don't feel like the job treated me right, but it is what it is. Too many times we feel like we have to out individuals. We feel like we have to prove a point. We have to put them on camera and show them how unjust they were. But what you end up doing, whether you feel right or wrong, you end up looking like a fool. Your reputation matters. A lot of people going around saying, oh, I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks about me. You should. I know some people say, you should do what you want. Don't let people care about what you... No. No. There is a thing about having respect for yourself. There is a thing about caring about your family's legacy. There is a thing about caring about yourself. And you do care what people think. There's no reason he would have turned on a camera if he didn't give a fuck what anybody thought or thinks. When I see the way people dress and the way they act, even myself, I look to some people, I look goofy with this hat on and a tie. And you know what? I could agree to some degree. I, I know it's different, but I just enjoy wearing these hats. But I do care. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't just go wear this all willy-nilly. If somebody was really to come up to me, hey, that's inappropriate. I wouldn't wear this at my church. 
You know what I'm saying? We don't wear hats where I go. Would I wear this to an unnecessary function? No. Right? Because it does matter. I'm not trying to be the center of attention everywhere I go because it's not necessary. But I feel like some people, no matter what they do in their life, they feel like they always have to make a point. They always have to feel like they're justified. They always feel like they need to be the center of attention. And then when they do become the center of attention and people start to criticize them, they're like, well, I don't care what you guys think anyway. Well, you should, though. And you do care. So let me say this to you, young man. I, I know you're living your life to the fullest. You're trying to do the best that you can. You had a you had a slip. You had a bad moment. You may have had a bad day. Maybe you went home and said, man, that was stupid. I don't know what I was thinking. I lost my head. It's happened to me, too. I've gone out there, lost my head. Man, I've done some of the dumbest shit. Even, you know, while I live life, um, I try to keep my head. There's a lot of times that I, in my old self, would have said something stupid or something dumb. But these days, I just try my best to not get up as not get so upset that I start embarrassing and start hurting other people to make myself feel better. Young man, I hope you do better from this point forward. But what you did today or what you did in this video was disgusting and it was despicable. And you should be embarrassed of yourself. And I'm hoping you get it together. But those people do not deserve what you did to them. You don't need to be telling somebody to shut the fuck up, bitch. You don't need to be accusing people of having sex with each other and then accuse a woman of saying something else or saying something to you that was harassment when you go on to say, when you literally said to the both of them, are you pegging him? And then you want to get on your high horse and say that she wanted to do intimate things with you. I just find it absolutely ridiculous. You're a hypocrite. And sir, I hope you get help. But y'all let me know what I think. What you think. Do you think this was justified? Do you think it was right? I don't. Goodbye.